The DRDO is developing two very important and lethal missile systems for Indian Air Force. These are Astra Mark II and Rudram II missiles. The reason why we are discussing particularly about these missiles is the recent update from Ministry of Defense during its annual report for the year 2022 and 23. To begin with, let's talk about the Astra Mark II missile. It is the second missile in Astra series of missiles being developed by DRDO. Astra Mark II is going to be massively boosting the Indian Air Force air superiority and beyond visual range air-to-air -air combat capability. While Astra Mark I is powered by a solid propellant rocket, the Mark II will feature double pulse solid motor propulsion system which will help the missile to attain the maximum range of more than 160 km in head-on chase mode and 40 km in tail chase mode. Now, if we talk about its development update, the maiden captive and launch drop trial of the missile was conducted in the year 2021 from Su-30 MKI. During the trial, ejection and retraction mechanism of the missile was tested for the very first time. The missile was launched using an ejector launcher. In the annual report of Ministry of Defense for the year 2022-23, it has been reported that in May 2022, the captive sorties of Astra Mark II has been conducted from Su-30 MKI. The missile with rail launcher has completed the carriage sorties covering full flight envelope of Su-30 MKI. Further, during May 2022, the missile was again flight tested from Su-30 MKI for safe separation demonstration. Now, as per the update from Vayu Aerospace Review, the hot trials of Astra missile are planned to be conducted by the end of year 2023. However, there has been no further update on this. But looking at development progress, it seems that DRD is very close to the completion of Astra Mark II development and its hot trials have been either been conducted and not disclosed in public domain or will be conducted soon. The development of this missile will be crucial for Indian Air Force fleet of Su-30 MKI and LCA Tejas to establish the air superiority in beyond visual range combat. The next missile regarding which we are going to talk about is Rudram 2. DRDO is also developing a family of anti-radiation missiles ARM called Rudram, meaning Remover of Sorrows. These missiles are designed to detect, track and neutralize the enemy's radio frequency sources such as radars and communication assets that form a critical part of air defense systems. Rudram-1 or NGARM is the first missile in this series whose development is complete. The missile has maximum operational range of 200 km and can carry warhead of 60 kg. Rudram-2 is second missile in DRDO's ARM family. It is a hypersonic, aeroballistic, air-to-ground missile. It has a solid rocket motor for propulsion with a range of 50 to 300 km. The missile will have peak speed of 5.5 Mach, that is hypersonic. The missile will have two variants for different role. These roles are ARM, that is anti-radiation missile, and ground attack. The Rudram 2's capabilities has been enhanced with the addition of an imaging infrared seeker with IIR and passive homing head PHH working in tandem enables the missile to easily attack enemy bunkers, air bases, arms and ammunition depot, aircraft hangars, etc. in addition to striking the radiation emitting targets. In the annual report of year 2022-23, the Ministry of Defense has reported that in June 2022, the release flight trials, that is RFT, of this missile was conducted from Su-30 MKI fighter jet. In an exclusive interaction to Focus News in 2023, the DRDO's chief Dr. Samir V. Kamath has informed that the new class of missiles like Rudram-1 and Rudram-2 have undergone successful trials and testing. 
ऑन सेकेंड फेबररी टू थाउजेंड ऑफ डिफेंस हैज ऑल्सो रिलीज अ वीडियो वेर वी कैन सी द टेस्ट फायरिंग ऑफ रूद्रम टू मिसाइल फ्रॉम सू थर्टी एम के आई दिस डेवलपमेंट्स आर ऑल्सो इंडिकेटिंग दैट द मिसाइल इज इन वेरी एडवांस स्टेज The missile will be the nightmare for its adversaries due to large standoff ranges and hypersonic speed. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.